Welcome to Toppers Talk. You are watching Gate 2024 Toppers. With me is All India Rank 10 Electronics and Communication Branch, Mr. Sai Krishna. So congratulations, Sai Krishna. Thank you, sir. And you have done your BTEC from JNTU Kakinada in 2023. And you also had certain international studies. So what are this? Would like to understand. Sir? What was your program of study abroad? Uh, yes, sir. It's based on uh, telecommunications mostly uh, from the Department of Electrical Engineering. Okay. And we have these electrical communications three years in JNT Kakinada. So it's okay. completely a four year uh, degree program. And you also had your minor degree in computer science. Yes, sir. So why you have not planned to go in IT industry? You are writing gate and after gate you will be going for PSUs or MTech? I'm not decided. I have not decided yet, sir. But I'm looking about the opportunities for from PSUs also. Um, but I have to see whether I have to go to because now uh, I'm getting good opportunities. I, I can get good opportunities from IIT Bombay and Madras like institutes, etc. So mm -hmm. I am still yet to uh, explore all the opportunities. Uh, and regarding that minors, it's like it is equivalent to 20 credits, sir. So though the, it is a scheme given by AACTE, AACTE uh, Indian government from past two years only. So we can do some NPTEL, NPTEL courses on our own and we can gain some extra credits and you can claim from the university. So from that, uh, from that I got these 20 credits and uh, it was awarded for me. I am the first person to take it from my university also. So I'm really happy for that. And... Uh, uh, that's uh, regarding PSUs and gate. I'm still yet to decide, sir. And when did you start your preparation of the gate? Um, once I decided I uh, to break my masters in Sweden, I came back to India la last year, June or so, 2023, and mm. I immediately started. So I did not take any gap or anything. Within ten days, I came. I went to Hyderabad. I joined a coaching institute, and uh, mm. uh, I started preparation in July. July itself. Okay, so. What are the main sources which you think one should follow for the gate? PYQ classes or maybe uh, any uh, test series? Anything what you suggest? Um, yes, sir. As you told, the three things, most important things are classes because we should complete whole syllabus. Second thing is previous year questions. Third thing is online test series. Mostly these three are sufficient, sir. Even the material given by coaching institutes, it's basically impractical to solve the whole material given by the coaching institutes, sir, in my opinion. But there are students who can complete that also. But these three things are first and foremost important, uh, should be given the first and foremost importance. And mm. uh, if a student has more time, because I have only five months for my uh, GATE exam, if a student is uh, in second year or first year of BTEC, he has a lot of time to give GATE. So then he may think about textbooks. But textbooks is like a very laborious task. Uh, for GATE, I think, these three things are sufficient, sir. Classes, PYQ, and OTS. And your focus was in GATE or ESE? Also ESE? My focus was, I attempted ESE, sir, but my focus is on GATE only, sir. Okay. Now, coming to test series, the last few months, two, three months when uh, you are close to exam, what yes. should be approach, revision, and practice? How to carry out? Uh, for me, uh, particularly, uh, my exam is in the morning, sir. Uh, 9 to 12 o'clock. Uh, okay, for some number, for some people, for some branches, it is afternoon also. So, irrespective of that, my strategy I followed is like every day when I woke up, uh, I I sit at 8 or 9 o'clock until 12 o'clock every day. Uh, I took approximately 28 mock full length mock tests, sir. So, one month of continuous writing OTS every day morning without uh, even a gap of one day also uh, really helped me a lot. And then in the afternoon session, the I would I would like I would have analyzed all the mistakes that I have done in the three hours of the examination duration, and I would have uh, focused on all these concepts and once revised the uh, concepts where I am doing more mistakes. Along with this, I used to also revise uh, practice also revise mostly a uh, few topics additionally also. But this is an ideal approach, sir, because uh, uh, it will make sure that you will be less error prone in the final exam. Right. Is it better approach? Okay. So, how many marks you obtained in rank 10? Uh, I obtained 66.67 marks, sir, precisely. Hmm. And uh, what uh, was your attempt? You attempted the entire paper or you left few questions? Uh, it's 
actually it's really strategic i went strategically sir even the day before uh, the gate exam also i gave a mock test but that is comparatively easy compared to the final exam day so with respect to the strategy that that i followed throughout the ots i attempted i have to be really uh, robust to the exam i have to be really adapted to the given on the exam on the final day so uh, to be frank it is a little bit tougher sir easy paper this year so i thought that i cannot attempt the whole paper first thing and also i recognize two subjects are really difficult one is analog subject and uh, another one is electro electronic devices uh, to be frank i only did only one question correctly from whole electronic devices and almost entirely left out the analog part but remaining i have remaining eight subjects where i rarely done any mistakes sir maybe of two three or four questions only i have done mistakes in the remaining subjects so it's like uh, selecting which subjects to leave is also very important on the exam day and uh, being error prone in the subjects which are easy and which you are good at is also important these two things we should keep in mind sir did you make, did you make any short notes for the last moment revision oh yes sir it's very important the short notes is very important i have uh, for us it is like easy is somewhat a smaller syllabus it is equal to 10 subjects so for 10 subjects i have short notes sir for every subject for every topic without missing any even whether it is important for gate or not i have every every short notes for uh, each and every subject and the before and to be frank we cannot complete the even the short notes also get not complete in one day sir some people think that one day before the exam we can complete the whole short notes but that is not an ideal approach sir we have to plan four to five days uh, for short notes itself then only we can be more uh, uh, relaxed before the day before the gate exam but short note is very important and how many years of pyq you solved last at 3 years i solved the pyq completely sir for okay. uh, in the december months sir actually in the december and january is the time left out for me to prepare for the exam in february so in december um, every day every two uh, uh, for us 10 subjects sir one month is equal to 30 days so for one subject it takes me 3 days to complete uh, uh, completely do it so two days i would take it for revision Uh, and one day completely i would spend for pyq or two days also based on the syllabus difficulty so december come the whole december is like revision pyq revision pyq for each and every subject by end of the december i am very good with the whole i am ready with the short notes i am good with the syllabus and i am good with the pyq is also in january i am uh, relaxedly i gave this ots on and test series this is the idea okay. okay so thank you sai krishna our uh, dear friends uh, he is a very scholar candidate and he did it and beautifully did i uh, congratulate once again and mr sai krishna was ranked 10 this year in gate electronics and communication and he joined online test series of meri thank you so much sir thank you sir thank you